Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite things about Italy. So let's get started. Thing number one, and if you have been watching my other videos, you probably know it, people, people who are smiling, who are happy, who are willing to talk with you, people all over that are very nice, very friendly, and I really, really enjoy being with people, people who care. And yeah, I really like Italians, they were doing of living, and I like how they interact with other people. Number two is obviously food. I could talk about food for hours, so definitely Italian cuisine is one of the best cuisines, in my opinion. It's light, it's nice, it's easy. In a way, it's easy to cook. It's very tasty, and it can vary from region to region, from city to city, so it's different in all the places and as well it will be different in a restaurant and at home so uh, you can enjoy the same type of pasta in different versions depending where you go, who it cooks and if it's a restaurant or home and whose home is it. <laughs> Number three is aperitivo or hanging out with friends or going for coffee. I really like this culture of picking up something after university, after exam, after work. As they say, I don't work, so I don't know, but a lot of people say that that's a thing to do after work. You go for aperitivo. Also, meeting your friends. If someone is in a city because lives, for example, outside of the city, someone will call you randomly and say, hi, I'm in a city, do you have half an hour? Let's, let's pick up the coffee. And I really, really love it. Either someone will come to your house or you will go to the coffee shop below your house or someone in the city you will meet with people and that's amazing and the same with drinking this aperitivo eating drinking eating small things drinking some wine drinking some drinks or spritz or whatever it makes you go out for some time it's not like going out for five hours ten hours going back at 5 a.m no it's more or less going at like afternoon time not afternoon late afternoon evening time and going back for either dinner or after dinner because if you are full you are not eating anymore but yeah let's say it's a nice thing to go and hang out with a few people check out how they're doing and talk a little bit about something else than university and work number four it's beautiful everywhere wherever you go every city is different and every city is amazingly beautiful i honestly think that i haven't seen ugly city in Italy, even if that would be a small city, they will have something beautiful church, beautiful mountain that you can see from there, beautiful people in a way of how they behave. There are places that you would visit and you would not expect them to be so nice, or they will have a nice restaurant or something like this. So every single place is honestly very beautiful and very different. You will not find the city that is the same as other cities. It's not like this that every city looks the same. And definitely biggest cities of Italy, each city is different. The most popular places in Italy, I don't know, some beaches or some touristic places, one will be not the same as other. And I really love it about this country. Another point is Italian. I love Italian and I also love that there are so many dialects, even from Napoletano. You have Napoletano, which is one dialect, but so many people speak Napoletano in a different way. Then you have Sicily that has their dialect, Calabria that has their dialect, Sardinia that has another dialect. In the north, there are all other dialects close to Bologna, Modena, and all the places. You will have every single region or part of the regions will have almost every single region or part of the region will have some type of dialect, some type of differences in how they speak. And that's, in my opinion, very amazing and the very dark and diversify a country a lot so yeah i really love it and for example i don't hear it but italians hear the difference between the accents of people from different places from different regions from different cities and definitely they will hear the difference between north and south how people speak i don't hear this difference yet let's hope yet <laughs> maybe one day i will feel the difference in the accents normally it's like i understand it easily or i have to think a little bit more to understand in a way I had to change a little bit my way of thinking. But yeah, definitely Italians know what I'm talking about when I say that people from different regions have different accents because you can sometimes ask the Italian, where do you think this person is from? And after they speak, they will be able to tell you which region or which city they are from. Another point is that it's sunny. And when I say it's sunny, I have some doubts about it, but still it's more sunny than Poland. <laughs> so that's a good thing because in Poland, for example, for us all the autumn, winter, and sometimes even spring is mainly dark cloudy winter is dark in a way that you don't have a lot of sun during the day you will have the sun from late morning until very early afternoon we will have sun and then it will be darkness here at least 
it's let's say light for longer hours during the winter so that's the first thing and second even during the winter it's not always raining it's not always cloudy in Poland even if it's not raining it's cloudy so I wouldn't say that it's not raining here because actually in Naples as long as I'm here it was raining in my opinion a lot I had few months here that were raining almost whole months or like one or two weeks of rain pouring rain all the time but yeah, <laughs> let's say that it's sunny. But yeah, definitely there is a lot of light, so it makes me much happier than Polish darkness because of where we are in the geographical area. Another point uh, that I love about Italy is eating with family and friends and not eating alone, cooking together and spending this time in a table, talking, uh, drinking some wine, enjoying the food and not eating it in five minutes. So eating food is a very important part of the Italian culture. So you will not see a lot of people eating eating something while walking or running to the job and eating something. No, eating is a special time of the day and you have to eat and you have to do it in a proper way. You are not just grabbing something and eating on your way. This is what you do a lot in Poland, in my opinion, like in a lot of countries. In Italy, you will barely see people who will not sit down when they are eating or at least will be in a bar close to the bar and like drink a coffee and maybe eat something, but they will not grab something sweet to eat and go on the street. Unless obviously it's uh, ice cream or you are traveling or something, but I mean, on a daily basis, you will have a special moment for eating and you will enjoy this moment, even if that would be 15 minutes because you don't have time but mostly you have a lot of time mostly you will have time to eat you will have time to get lunch get dinner and that will be a special time even at university we had one hour break for eating so yeah and that was a fixed break every single day so definitely it's uh, for it that you will sit down eat and enjoy your meal and last but not least Italians are very passionate about their hobbies, their interests, so even like soccer, you probably can imagine how much passion they put into soccer or even other sports if they are interested in other sports. If there is a person who loves the music or plays an instrument, they will also have so much passion. I don't see this passion that much outside of Italy, but maybe I'm biased, maybe it's like this everywhere. But for me, Italians are very passionate about everything, like not everything, but their hobbies, their interests. Even like a lot of people say that they are passionate like in love, that it's not just love or something like this, that they have real passion for the person, real passion for what they're doing. So yeah, in my opinion, Italians are very, very passionate people. If they enjoy the things they like and they go towards getting this thing and having this interest. And that would be very important for them right after family. <laughs> So yeah. so yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know what you like about Italy or what are your assumptions about Italy. Write down in the comments. And if you like the video, hit the like button. That helps me a lot with YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. That way you will not miss any of my videos. And here I leave you the study abroad playlist and the video about differences between Polish and Italian universities. Thank you one more time for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.